Hello everybody, today is going to be my complete review of Google Keep. So, keep in mind, this is a new app, and, um, has just been out, like, two days, and it doesn't have all the features that other things have, whatever. <clears throat> um, people have been saying stuff like, this is an Evernote killer, or this could never kill Evernote, and I think those are weird things to say, because... You can't expect a thing that came out a day ago to do those things. This is completely different in my mind. This is for quick notes and, you know, like, sticky notes. That's what this is, sticky notes. I mean, the icon, if you can see it, is a sticky pad. So, at the moment, this is just what that is for notes and getting down quick thoughts. Okay, let's go right into it. Uh, it's a really nice app. Uh, first off the, off the bat, there are two ways to view it. There's the multi-window view or the single column view, which is like Instagram, kind of, the Instagram feed. It puts your oldest notes at the bottom and most recent notes at the top. Then we'll go back to multi-column view. It's my favorite one. So, um, nice looking, really uh, high quality Google. I mean, you expect it to be a, a really good quality app. Uh, it's just really nice. So we'll start off with the different types of notes. There are four basic kind of notes. Uh, you have the camera or picture note, excuse me. You can only put a picture and you cannot use a video. The interesting, that'd be cool if you could use video, but the interesting thing is you can only take a picture. You cannot add one from your gallery, so you have to, you know, it's only for like on the spot note taking. It's not for reminding yourself from a picture you found on the internet or something like that. Um, over here, this is a voice note. You click it and you say whatever you want to say it converts it to text and keeps the audio with the note i'll show you that also and here is the checklist such as a grocery list or a list of things a to do list we'll look at that as well and then a basic note is just a title and a chunk of note like this right here and then add quick note is if you don't want to click any buttons you just want to start typing you just click there and start typing away that is the quick note and then, of course, you have the search button up here, and then you have the menu button. So let's get started. Um, you can change colors of the notes. For There are a multitude of colors. Uh, I don't really change colors on my notes. I just did it for this review. I like the basic white. It looks simple. But um, I separate, separated mine into two categories for this uh, review. Here is my Chaos Theory notes are all white, and my Literature or Hamlet notes are all blue. Um, I did that just, you know, you could see the point of coloring them would be to, you know, know what subjects each one goes to your school or research or etc. So, um, let's look into the first notes. This is right here is a basic note, just the title and the uh, text that goes in the note. I love the font. It is really cool, easy on the eyes, and simple, and uh, I just like it. Uh, up here, you have the option to change the color of the note. You have um, eight different colors. I stick with white because the other ones are kind of, you know, I mean, I really see no need for changing the note colors. Uh, you can also have the option to add a picture to any note. This goes with any note. You can make it into a picture note and combine it with whatever note it is. I'll go into that detail more later. Uh, you can share it to any other app on your phone, pretty much. Uh, the sharing isn't that cool yet, because if you share it to Google+, Plus, all it does is shares the text, and if it's a picture, it attaches the picture with it, etc. And uh, the only problem is, once you click share, it's always there, that Google+, Plus button, which is annoying to me, at least. Uh, it also has this option, wherever you are, if you click this uh, menu button... Okay, well, it's not let me do that, for some reason. There you go, if you click the menu button, you can archive it, which, you know puts it away, not on the main screen, you can delete it, or you can click show checkboxes, which adds a checkbox to every paragraph or every indented note. So that's cool if you need to turn in something into a uh, checkbox. So this is a basic note, really cool, can't change the font or anything like that, tells you when it was last edited, uh, that is a basic note. Here is a to-do note with a checklist. So like I said, you can combine the two, so we will click X, and we just deleted the picture, so now it is just a regular <coughs> checklist, so like I said, you can add a picture, change the color, archive, delete, etc., uh, here you go, you, you can see these little dots on the side over here, like here, and when you grab them, you can move the notes into a different order, 
like so. So, you can check them off in any order you want. Check, check, check. You can add a note at the bottom, wherever you are. I mean, a list note, and then you can go over here, and you can see that they were checked off on this as well. Here's just a regular picture note. It shows you the uh, title, the note, and then the picture. This is like if you're at the store and you're looking to buy a new sofa or something. You take a picture of the sofa and add a note about where you found each one, you know, yada yada. I guess if that, that's a use for it. Or if you're researching architectural buildings and such, you can add more than one picture to the to the um, note. Let's give an example. There you go. Two pictures to the note. But when you do that and go back, it only shows the first picture and not the second picture. So that is that. You can also change the colors on this, although, like I said, I do not change colors. Alrighty. We'll go over to the next type of list. This is an audio note. You click on it. Here we go. It has the play button. Here's the audio that it was recorded from. And then over here, here is the title and the converted text. So whatever I said here, can't hear it because it's kind of low, but uh, I converted it to text and kept the audio. So if you wanted to listen to it later, again, you can add a picture or change the color. And the way to tell that this is an audio note, since there's no other, since it looks kind of like a regular note, it has the little play button right there in the corner that tells you what it is. Over here is a, a basic note once again, but this is blue just to show you that, oops, that uh, just to show you that you can change the colors to go with each thing. So this is my literature section, so I change the color. Here is a regular note with a picture. It's a picture note, actually, excuse me. And then here is a list. Again, this is a more basic list than the other one was. And it's blue to go with there. Also, when you click search, type in Hamlet. It's it only picks up these three. So if you are if you have a bunch of notes and you're just trying to get your literature notes, you can search Hamlet if you have Hamlet in each one, you know, or something, whatever. And so that's a really nice feature. And if I typed in, you know, chaos then it would only show, whoops, what the, well, never mind, I don't know what's, oh, I added a new note, excuse me, uh, there you go, so, <clears throat> that is the basic functionality of the different notes, let's show you what an audio note does, by the way, this is an audio note, testing, testing, one, two, three, oops, that did not work, I did the wrong thing, this is an audio note, testing, testing, there you go, this is an audio note, testing, testing. So it converts it to text, no capitals or anything, but you can say period, and it will convert to period and such. And then right here, you can listen. This is an audio note, testing, testing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if you wanted to listen to your, when you were in the zone <laughs> making it, you can delete the note if you wish, the audio part of it, like so. You can get rid of the voice recording. And also, you can, you know, change the title, add picture, etc. Uh, there's the play button to show you it's audio. Or, if you're writing a note, and you just want to dictate audio, and have no audio recording, you click this and say, Today was a long day, period. It was a very, very long day, period. It wasn't a fun day, period. There you go. So that converted it, oops, <laughs> that converted it to text instead of having audio with it. And then to get rid of a note, you tap the notes you don't want, and then you click Archive or Delete. Archive just puts them in a different folder where you don't see it, them, or in your, and they don't, or then they are not searched. Uh, deleting them gets rid of them forever. Um, so if you click over here and click Archive Notes, I don't have any, but this shows no notes. So it also has two different widgets. Here is the main widget. Uh, it has. The you can create a note right from those four buttons, and you can view all of the different notes. Or the other type of widget is just this white part and not the actual list of notes. There's also a lock screen widget. So to finish this up, I will show you one last cool little thing. This is Google Now integrating with the thing. So you say, note to self, don't forget to buy the milk. There you go, saves a note, and guess where I just saved it? By Milk. And it saved it as an audio recording, so you can listen to... It's still working on it there. So say note, like, note what's going on. 
and that saves it as a note. Or, yeah, that's another way to do it, and it saves the audio with it like it did earlier with the other note. So that is the quick review, or not a quick, actually, review, uh, review of Google Keep. I hope you enjoy this review. Please like, share, and subscribe.